Coda, what are we doing today? Hi, Molly. Today we're going to learn about unit fractions and how to compose and decompose fractions. Cool. Okay, Molly, I want you to take this rectangle and cut it into four equal size pieces. Okay. Now shade one piece. It's done. To represent the shaded part, Molly, I say that we have four equal size pieces, so that's the denominator, and one piece is shaded gray. It's one unit out of four total, so this is called a unit fraction. Oh, so if I take this pink rectangle and cut it into three equal pieces, each piece represents one third. And that's also a unit fraction, right? Right, Molly. Hey guys, what about these rectangles? Does each one have one six shaded gray? Can I try, Teddy? Can I try? Sure. Well, I see that the yellow is cut into six equal parts and one six is shaded gray. So yes, it is one six. The pink is cut differently, but it's still six equal parts and one is shaded green. So it's one six. And I see that the blue is cut into six parts, but they're not equal size. So it doesn't work. Very good, Molly. Okay, let's look at this square. What part is shaded pink? The square is cut into eight equal parts, so each part would be one eighth. That's my unit fraction. I notice that there are three parts shaded pink, so it would be one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth, and that equals three eighths. I get it. So if I have this cookie cake, because I love cookie cakes, and I cut it into six equal parts, Coda, and I'm nice and let you have one piece, then you ate one sixth of my cookie cake, and that's a unit fraction. Good, Molly. But since I love cookie cake, I'm going to eat this much. So I will have one six plus one six plus one six, which is three six. Plus, I will have two six for later on. Am I right, Coda? You've got the math right, but you're not sharing very well. Let's look at this problem. This vegetable garden is cut into eight equal parts, so each part is one eighth. If I want to know how much of the vegetable garden is planted in corn, it would be one eighth plus one eighth, and that equals two eighths. Remember, when you add fractions, you have to have a common denominator and you write it down and then you add the numerators. All right, let's try a bowl of fruit. Bananas is my favorite fruit. So if I want to know what fraction of this fruit bowl is bananas, I say, hmm, there are six pieces of fruit. So each banana would be one sixth of the bowl. So I have one sixth plus one sixth plus one sixth. And that equals three sixths. Right, Molly. Hey guys, look at this flower garden. Mrs. Smith has one section of her flower garden in blue bonnets, one section in roses, and one section in daisies. By the way, watch Daisy. She likes to eat daisies. What fraction of the garden is each type of flower? Well, duh, Teddy, there's three sections. Uh, Molly, they're not the same size. Oh. That's right, Coda. We have to imagine that we continue this cut so that we have equal sized pieces. Now we can see that the blue bonnets are in one-fourth, the roses are in one-fourth, and the daisies are in two-fourths. That's right, Teddy, and I know that two out of four parts also equals a half. Very good, Coda. All right, kids, now it's your turn to answer some questions. <laughs> 